Okay, well we're ready for the sun cook. This will take about three minutes. Now the rails will go off a little bit right now from the bounce, the UV bounce. Okay, well that's been about uh, three or four minutes on the bottom and then another two or three on the top. Now what I have to do next, well, I see glass the top, but before I glass the top, I'm going to take a sure form and take this little bit of edge off. There's a little bit of a coarse edge, just so the far, just to make it smooth, so the fiberglass doesn't snag on this right here. This, this little bit of hand work. I'm going to smooth it up, just so the fiberglass doesn't snag on it. Be careful not to hit the foam, though. It'll make a gouge. Just want to get those little high spots. There, now that's pretty smooth. So it won't, it won't grab the fiberglass when I tug it out. Okay, well the next uh, part, I'm gonna put a layer of four ounce down and I'm gonna cut it right at the seam here. And then on top of that, well, I'll show you that. And then uh, the six ounce goes over the top of that. Okay, well, here's the, I'm gonna put a layer of four ounce on the bottom. The only difference in this layer going underneath is I'll cut it at the seam so I don't have two two layers to lap over the, the rail. Okay, a little bit left over. Hold that for later. Grind it out from the center, get the wrinkles out. This just makes the laminating that much easier. on the corner, so you can see how it will wrap around by itself. It will follow the contours of the board. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. If you get down on the light, can you see the, uh, the fiberglass that's been lapped over? Now if this hadn't been sanded down, all this would be real rough and it would snag on the fiberglass and you'd get little gaping holes of something like that. And you'd have a bunch of little snag marks. If anything catches the fiberglass. Now I'm just going to go around and cut this right at the seam. Now if you have any logos to put on your board, rather than put them underneath the glass, which is a little more difficult, you can save some of these scraps. And after the top is laminated, cut out a little piece to go around your logo and just place it on the top and squeeze it in. And then you can sand it in later, feather sand it in. There. And now uh, the six ounce that goes over the double layer on the deck. Okay, okay I'm going to iron this out too. About an inch to uh, to lap over and get to the flat part of the board, depending on how rolled the rail is. So it'll be probably right about there. Yeah, There's the edges right there. I don't know if you can see that. So about that much. We'll get into the flat. That'll help the sander. It's probably going to be you. So easier you make it on yourself. Less work you got to do later. center cut and pull off the little excess fiberglass, little strands, and we'll just glob up later. Here's the white point. Same thing here. Extra. Before I pour it into the bucket, I'm going to lower the blue screen to keep the ultraviolet rays out. Squeegee's on the board, ready to go. Going to 
going to take a little bit more to do the top because we've got two layers of fiberglass. So I'm going to use the uh, a little bit I saved from last time. I'll pour that in here. That should be enough for the top. I keep a set of tweezers handy because uh, in the way I'm doing the boards here in the carport, um, occasionally a bug will fly in. Okay, no catalyst, no mixing. Just out of the container and off we go. Make sure all the fibers are saturated. Work the resin in. Two layers takes a little more work. I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the bottom. Pour one last little piece down the center so I have some extra resin to go over on the rail when I left the rail. I'm going to do it kind of easy in the center and then now I apply a little pressure when you come from the center out towards the nose or towards the tail. And the same thing out to the rail without too much extra resin because that's where the weight is. And you can use here on the rails, you use a little bit of the bend of the, the squeegee to give you that uh, form fitting curve. Same as on the bottom, lap it in tight. And squeeze off the squeegee off the excess resin from the center out. You get your best tight lap. I pointed that out earlier, but it's best to start at the bite point of the board and go towards the nose or towards the tail, so that the fiberglass doesn't wrinkle up on you. Because if you start at the tail or start at the nose and try to go to the other end, there's a possibility of getting wrinkles in the middle. Okay, same thing on this side. Off the excess out to the rail. Now you don't want to press too hard because you'll take all the resin out of the fiberglass and then you'll end up with a lot of air in it. Sort of a happy medium. You're just ironing out the excess. The same thing as the other side. Just lap it from the center, go towards the tail, and get up all the excess resin. There's that little fold, Co covers it, goes over on itself. There we go. Now, right before we put it out in the sun, I'm going to go over it one more time, like I did on the, I did the bottom, and uh, just make sure there's no excess drips hanging down, because those will just harden, and then you just have more sanding work for later. Let's tighten it up. There, now it's ready for the sun. Take this in the uh, dirty acetone, clean my hands off. I got a little bit left over. Use this for the hot coat. Let's do this side just to make sure the, the laps get cooked too. 